Hey everybody, Josh RV Nerd here with Bish's RV at the uh, the preview display for what Jayco is coming out with their model year update. This video right here is going to serve as just a quick fly-by flash of maybe a couple new things that may have coming. I'm going to spend the next couple days here just hard recording on this stuff. Um, I will I'll do the best I can to capture as much as I can, and I'd love to hear what you guys think of just the quick early peek here today. And I ended up capturing a lot more footage than I realized. Uh, so I'm chapter marking this with the model number so you can jump around to different things. I'm seeing a lot of new floor plans, which is exciting. I haven't seen new floor plans in like three years, really, from Jayco. But I'm also seeing a lot of updates to existing floor plans. So I really like that they're, they're, they're always moving forward trying to make something good even better. Now, I don't normally do voiceover work like this, but this was such a big display. There was no way I could get to every single thing I wanted. I was like a kid in the candy store here, but I was trying to give you a little look at everything. So I've got this 17 minute sneak peek, kicking things off with something that came as a big surprise to me. The introduction of the new Jay Feather Valare series. I've got a full separate video of this one right here, but basically the best way I can describe this is a luxury off pavement glamper. And again, I've got a deep dive into this prototype uh, and I'd love some of your input on this on that separate video. I'll leave you a link in the description. Now, the J-Flight series went through the biggest number of updates. We're going to start with something that's a little more familiar and work you into the rest. This is the 195 single axle uh, J-Flight. Notice it's just J-Flight now. There's no more SLX name. The STX edition packages kind of uh, remain. But for the most part, what you're going to see is the J-Flight family has homogenized. Instead of little J-Flight SLX and then big J-Flight with the Elite package, it's all just J-Flight. But what's a little confusing at first, pretty much the entire J-Flight family is now set at the SLX trim package and price point. Um, you see there's some new models like this 274 here. It doesn't replace the 264. What this one does though, is it's a little bit longer, but it gives us a really nice entertainment center, which is something I think a lot of people have been asking for. And that monster shower is just awesome. But like I said, uh, this is all built at the SLX price point to make the, the, the price point and the accessibility of these products easier to access for uh, families looking for something starter class. Now, when they merged Big J Flight and Little J Flight, some of the models have Camp Queens, some of the models have True Queens. I'll break that stuff down in my full video tours as they come out. But as you see, this is a really smarter class camper. We still have the ladders, the Goodyear tires, and these new stabilizers right here. You're going to find those on every single J Flight, J Feather, and White Hawk standard. They absolutely lock the RV down and keep things incredibly sturdy and stable. Notice we still got that carpetless slide. Uh, we still have that nice six foot nine ceiling height in there. Now, um, this new 295 floor plan, regular viewers of this channel might look at it and say that it looks a lot like a Wildwood 26D, bud. It's definitely right there in that hunt because what it does is it gives us a super slide family bunkhouse with an entertainment center that doesn't suck, which is really, really awesome. Um, the, uh, you know, you still have your choice, the 12 volt or the two way fridge. You still have the farmhouse decor. You still have the brown cottage decor if that jelly ain't your jam. But this floor plan right here, something I love about this, if you whip around the corner, it just has a giant closet and dresser built into it that a lot of travel trailers really lack. Now, this is a floor plan I haven't had a chance to exactly see, and it is currently um, a little bit of an exception to the homogenized J Flight rule. The J Flights with the bedroom slides, and I think they're triple slide bunkhouse 33RBTS. Those are still built exclusively at the quote elite level with bigger holding tanks and uh, true queen beds and a an, uh, larger air conditioner standard. And you see the furniture uh, generally by default will be kind of nudged up a little bit. So I know I just told you how there's only one series of J flights for 2023. There kind of is a small extra large subset of J flights with things like porcelain stools that you will find in that 23 season. But again, basically it's their bed slide models like the 34 TSB like this guy or that big triple slide mega mega bunkhouse that they also build. Uh, now moving right along, uh, this is a brand new bungalow floor plan and people haven't been able to really find bungalows from Jayco for a while. They haven't been building them. They're making a big commitment to change that. So people looking for that park friendly destination function uh, they're going to be coming back into the marketplace in a real way to try to fulfill that for you. And again, regular viewers of this channel might look at that and they go, that looks very much like one of those Wildwoods with a double loft. And you are absolutely right. 
They looked at that and said, anything you can do, we feel we can do better. But I will leave you folks at home to be the judges of that. Personally, I think each brand has little advantages over the other, but this is a stone cold stunner of a floor plan. Since it's a bungalow, it's eight and a half foot tall, it's eight and a half foot wide. This was a live dealer display. I had a couple friends that I met there from Canada. Super nice guys, by the way. Um, the uh, um, bathroom here. One of the interesting things about that is there's actually a chimney vent essentially that goes up because there's that double loft directly above the bathroom. And I'm sorry if that footage is spinning a little fast and making anybody motion sick. I was uh, I had a ton of people behind me and I was trying to move quick. But this is a lower deck front bedroom that man, if I was on a lake site overlooking things, that would look incredible. Now take some time, pause the video or and, and slow scroll through this. Jayco has completely revamped their entire solar package and all the info is basically right there, but essentially it's very similar to the Keystone Solar Flex package and we are going to be doing a lot of solar with Bishes moving forward. This floor plan though, this was actually the very first thing that I went out and recorded, the new Jayfeather 21 MML. So it's similar to like an Imagine, a Cougar, a bunch of other things that you've seen, but where Jayfeather twisted it upside down and inside out and on its head, and I didn't actually display it here, but I have a full video of this coming, that is a Murphy bed. It's a Murphy middle living. So it's a double Dynofa plus dinette, half ton towable couples camper that is fully travel accessible. Jay Feather and Whitehawk both are now double Asdell. Um, there are there's so, so many good things coming to that family. I'm very excited to see more of these roll out and to see what people think about them. I really like this floor plan. Now moving up to Whitehawk. You won't see a whole lot of content change overall here, except for the fact that, again, they are now double Asdell, which I think is a big deal. And this floor plan, like I said, I call this, you know, it's a, it's a step above ordinary because there's a lot of brands that build a floor plan kind of like this. Like you might look at this and say that looks a little bit, again, like an Imagine, like a Cougar, but right there, including a full super slide instead of just a dinette or just a sofa, adding that extra storage and combining the kitchen into one space, still having good entertainment center and a walk around hallway bathroom instead of a walk through bathroom with a nice big shower. That's where this one did it different. It means it's longer, it's heavier, it's going to be more expensive, it still has that true queen bed. But I think that's a killer floor plan that a lot of people are really going to enjoy. This is another one I'm really excited about. Now we already have the bunkhouse version of this camper in a full video on our on our site, um, on our channel here rather. But this is the couples model and I, I felt guilty as to how much I like this thing. It's like everybody and their brother has made a rear bathroom front Murphy bed couples camper for a long time. But the entertainment's always been kind of sketchy and it always feels small and cramped. This, just those, they've solved those problems. Not to mention the fact they gave it about an acre of countertop space in this thing. I, I, I walked in this one and I, I straight went, whoa. Now again, it's a little bit longer. It's one of the longer, heavier Murphy bed models I've ever seen but there's nothing like it. It gives you massive, like giant super slide feeling space in something that should still work for a lot of half tons and still comes in nice. I, th I think it's under 28 feet or right around that mark, not even 30 feet. They did well. Now look at the front landing gear on this. I've long said that Eagles were a, tr uh, a flat deck fifth wheel but they have literally now outfitted these with a fifth wheel leveling system. And did you notice that was a six point automatic leveling system on a travel trailer? That is nearly unheard of. Now, this is basically the same floor plan as the 319 Eagle fifth wheel. And that's the thing, you can get this on a flat deck or you can get it on a gooseneck, which would give you maybe better tow ability. But if you wanna get rid of the stairs and do it more like park style, that's where this one comes in right here. So has that cool camp kitchen function too. Um, you know, a great couples kind of uh, model there. My dad bod showing off in that mirror. Yeah, don't be jealous, but this is what peak male performance looks like. <laughs> after it's had too big of a breakfast. Now, a couple of spaces like that, I did use a quick wide angle lens just to kind of showcase things quickly. Side by side washer dryer prep, seven foot three ceilings, 30,000 BTU dual whispered air standard. Now, this is a new model to Jayco, not a new model 
um, overall, and every manufacturer has done the middle of this a little bit differently. Jayco did the kitchen in a way that dedicated a little miniature outdoor camp kitchen, which I haven't seen really done from a lot of other brands. What this floor plan right here does is gives us this monster rear den space where it has like the, the seating essentially of a front living room, but facing backwards where you've got a, uh, a theater seat facing a power televator. You've got the dual opposing uh, hide beds so that's what's kind of cool about this one. It's a great entertainment, bring some friends over camper. If they have a little bit too much, maybe they can hang over the night. Or if you're going to have some occasional guests, but not always, you have sleeping for up to six in this very comfortably. They went with a high top table here, uh, which I, I think some people are going to like, some people are going to dislike. And as always, I'm very, very interested in hearing your feedback on a lot of these things. The um, TV is becoming standard in the Big Bird Eagles, not the HTs is another nice thing. And that's a sample right there of their observation suite. Now again, pause this and look through this. We're leaving Eagle and going up into Jayco's full profile luxury series. They haven't fully completed it yet, but they will be transitioning over to those 17 and a half inch tires on all North Points, Pinnacles, and both series of the Seismic family. And that is kind of crazy. Now, I thought I kind of introduced their luxury series here with what is just my personal guilty pleasure, the Flurb, the front living room, a uh, rear bath and a half model right here. This is my personal favorite front living room. I actually named it uh, what I thought was the coolest new fifth wheel introduced in the 2021 camping season. And frankly, I stand behind that still to this day. It's like a they took a front living room and they twisted it upside down, inside out and on its head. And I've got two full videos of this thing over the years here for you. but. It's a dual facing entertainment. One faces kitchen, one faces living room. Very, very cool, fun floor plan on these. Now, a neat thing with Jayco and their Eagles and North Points and Pinnacles and everything else in the big fifth wheel series, when you get the residential fridge, it also includes an 1800 watt inverter that will live power multiple outlets, specific outlets in the RV, including an outdoor refrigerator if the RV is equipped with one, which can be very, very handy for some people in travel accessibility. But this overall is not really a new floor plan. And some of the North Point saw a few tweaks, but I thought I would kind of, like I said, introduce you with something a little familiar here before we moved on into some other uh, more kind of <laughs> twisted and interesting things. And a little bit later here in the video, I've got a, <laughs> I almost bumped my head right there. I wasn't really paying attention, but there's a lot of walking. So the 36 SSWS Pinnacle, again, not a new floor plan, but I've, I've not had a chance to put one of these on camera in that beautiful paint package. That's the diamond paint package. And supply chains are getting resolved. You notice how uh, RVs that are supposed to have front and rear caps are having front and rear caps again. And I've never had a chance to do my own full video tour in the silver mist decor. And I suppose I'm still not doing a full video tour, but you've only really seen me do a lot of farmhouse pinnacle stuff. Personally, I think that silver mist is the best gorgeous. I love it, but I'd love to hear what you think. Now notice that giant butcher's block countertop extension that used to be a removable cutting board and they decided let's just put it where it belongs and make it simple. But look at this up here. Um, did you notice how that only had one single sink bowl? That is something where Jayco is getting rid of a lot of those double sink floor plans and I think the front bath pinnacle at this point is like the only one. This by the way you can build with either the front open lounge, the book nook, or you can build it with a, uh, a maximized front closet space. So you, you know, you can kind of build it either way, whatever works for you. No matter what, man, that thing is, uh, that is a specimen behold. Now this crazy twisted mutant, a lot of people have asked me for this. It's my first time ever getting to put it on camera. This is like the, the North Point Flurb, but uh, not exactly. So, you know, Pinnacle versus North Point, a couple quick details, like it's wide body. There's, there's a couple other, but look at this, look at this middle kitchen. So pause the video right here and stare at this. That table that you saw on the other side of that island slides. You could slide that table against the campsite window and have just a little couple's dining space or like a desk space if you wanted it or you can slide it to the middle of the island space like you're looking at there and put chairs on the other side and have people over. When you're standing, it look it looks weird. You have to see this RV in person. It it feel it almost feels like if you've ever gone to like a Benihana or something like that where there's like somebody who's doing prep work and cooking work and then serving it right over to you almost live. But 
the uh, the living room, the bedroom, the bathroom, basically just wide body versions of the Flurb, and that is absolutely not a knock against this. Now, I also want to show you, you, know, you still have the farmhouse decor available in the Pinnacle, but I was really, really taken by that silver mist look. I thought that that was something just extremely sharp that I had not seen before. Now, shifting back, um, Jayco had to kind of pause a lot of production of their toy haulers. The Seismic series is back, baby. Now, there's actually two Seismics, and I didn't get a chance to get a lot of coverage on what I'm going to call Seismic Junior behind it, kind of previously called Talon. But there's Little Seismic, and then there's Big Seismic Luxury that we're looking at. So their names make a lot of sense. And this 4313 is a freaking hoss, Batman. It has rear patio, side patio. It has one of the coolest kitchen configurations I think you're ever going to see. Like my little shoe stops there, by the way. <laughs> Big four person, massive party couch. This RV is everything but ultralight. Ford Rangers and half tons need not apply to this big, heavy triple axle monstrosity, but it is a big, beautiful machine. Amazing counter space. The, the kitchen overlooks the living room. When you're standing on the lower deck, you just want to like lean your elbow up on that countertop. Not to mention you've got the side patio. It has just such a big open party vibe. I absolutely, I just love this thing. To me, this, this ranks right up there in my top three personal fifth wheel toy haulers. Of course, it also ranks up there in top three, probably biggest, heaviest, most expensive, but easily some of the awesomest. Ooh, okay, well, I severely uh, underestimated how much quick footage I was going to be capturing here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to break all this motorized stuff out into its own flyby sneak peek video. Uh, so motorized people, stay tuned. I'll have something like that coming out hopefully fairly quickly for you. I'm beat, holy cow, I already put in the, already put in the steps according to my Jayco wristband. Again, to, this right here was nothing but just a, a, a quick flyby of a lot of fun things that we have coming for you later this year. Um, if you get a chance, let me know the types of things that you saw here that you'd like to see me focus more on as we go through. And basically, it's one of those help me help you kind of Jerry Maguire situations. So uh, again, this little just kind of playing some music flashing by uh, RVs, not the normal type of video I intend to start producing, but it's something where I could just cover a lot of ground very, very quickly. And now I'm going to start diving into more detail. So so stay tuned, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You are, there's some fun things here. You are not gonna wanna miss this.